Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Hopefully you guys are doing well out there. We're still in COVID-19 times, unfortunately. Uh, this is my 2013 GMC Sierra Denali. It's got about 84,000 kilometers on it, but in my opinion, it's time to sell it. But before I do that, I want to give it the proper treatment and get rid of the, uh, the haze on these aftermarket lights. I have the uh, original ones and tail lights in boxes that maybe only have a month of use on them. Um, but I like that custom look, so I'd like to make these look a little better first. So I've got this kit I've never really used. I've only ever really used the lens clarifying compound on some factory headlights on my daughter's car and that's all it needed. Um, but these I'm going to try and do the full proper lens restoration. I'm going to see if these will look any better. I'm, I'm sure they will. Um, but I've never seen videos of this product or others really used on aftermarket headlights. So I'm curious to see what the results are going to be. Once it's all cleaned up and detailed, then we're going to list it and hopefully it sells quickly. Let's get started on these lights. Okay, let's get our gloves on. Two different colors so I can remember which hand's left and right. Wash headlights, remove the surface dirt. If lens to be restored is next to painted areas, use masking tape to protect the paint. So let's take care of that. Okay, so the instructions say to try the clarifying compound first. I know we're gonna need uh, more aggressive than just a polish, so we're not going to do that first. Instead, we're going to get right into the sanding. So we have three pads. This is a, a number one, it's the most aggressive. We have a number two, it's uh, less aggressive. And then we have a number three on one side and a number four. So the grit of the sandpaper just gets finer and finer and finer as we go along. We need to spend two, three minutes with the number one because this does the most work. And then we do number two for a minute, number three and number four for a minute. And then we use the um, clarifying compound to do a proper buff. And then, when it's all said and done, we seal it with this wipe. Recommends using gloves for that. And then it should be as clarified as it's gonna get. So I'm just going to put a bit of a montage on for you. And now you know the steps, so you'll know what I'm doing as this montage continues. So let's go. Alright, that's number one. Let's switch over to the number two pad. This time we go with a vertical motion. Okay, that's about one minute. Now we go to number three, the purple. And now we go back to a vertical motion. Also for about a minute. Okay, last step. Sandpaper number four. Also for about a minute. Last sanding step that is. And then we go the other direction. Okay, that's all the sanding. Now we can dry the lens with a cotton towel and then apply the, the clarifying compound and then buff that out by hand or with a machine at lower RPM. So let's clean this up. Ok, 
Okay, I can see that it looks more consistent now. So let's get the clarifying compound and get a clean rag as well. There's our clean rag. So we're just gonna let this dry to a haze and then we will buff it out with the clean end of the rag. I'm not going to apply this until I'm done both lights, but we'll do a comparison uh, right before this is applied and we'll do a comparison once this is used, this sealer. Okay, it's been a few minutes, it should be dry. All right, I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to put on the lens sealant until I get the other one done. So let's just do a quick comparison like this first. So this one's one step away from being done. This one's not started. Let's turn the lights on. So not perfect. I can still see some fogginess, um, but much better than this one. Okay, so let me tend to that one quickly and then we'll apply the ceiling wipe. This here takes 24 hours to cure, but we'll use one clean side for this lens. Use the other side before I open it up because I'll save the other side for the other lens. Okay, now over to this side, fold it in half, same thing. just for good measure. Let's take the tape off. Pretty good. Looks way better. In person, looks much better. I'd say the product works even on aftermarket lenses. Right, guys we did it i hope you liked today's video if you did smash that like button if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing so you get to see more don's life diy projects and it supports the channel and helps it grow so i can't grow without your support so please consider that um, when we sell this truck i will be replacing it with another one so stay tuned and thanks for watching we'll talk to you next time Thanks.